Hello everyone, I'm Amar Central and welcome to this very special upload. Um, this video has been made um, to announce the official and to detail the official plans around the Stagecoach Bus UK and National Express Group merger that was officially signed on the 14th of December 2021. The um, concept of this merger um, has been in discussion for just under three months um, with the first sort of media headlines that this um, merger was planned um, being announced at the 21st of September 2021 and therefore there has been discussions um, after that point up until now. The initial deadline um, for the discussions to end that the two operators had decided on was the 16th of November. However, at that point, discussions were still ongoing and the two operators announced an extension to this date, of which as of 10 a.m. this morning, um, they have announced the plans for the merger officially to the media. The merger will involve a takeover about £370 million. Um, we do not know who's keeping what name at the moment. It's expected to just become one big entity, one big operation. The operation itself is suggested to now be worth £1.9 billion in total. So once the entire takeover has taken place, it's expected to fully take place um, in the spring, in uh, late winter, early spring 2022. Um, the full operation will now be worth UK-wide £1.9 billion. As I say, this is mainly a UK takeover project and with National Express running both the coach operations as well as its bus operation in the West Midlands and a few other little inlets here and there. And Stagecoach Bus UK running primarily the bus operation up and down the country. So what does the operation mean for you guys? What does the takeover mean for you? If you live in the sort of Stagecoach operation or the National Express operation um, for the direct immediate future, you will see very, very little difference. There's not going to be much changing um, overnight in regards the liveries, the brandings, the routes and things like that. It's also important to consider that there is very, very little overlap with the two operators. Um, the two companies sort of in most areas that they used to operate, like Dundee, for example, and National Express Group sold Explore Dundee to McGill's um, last year with a full takeover taking place in 2020. Um, in Primarily, as you would be suspected, in potential preparation for this takeover taking place. Now, there will be one thing that is a big outlier. Um, obviously, a lot of people will be considering the concept of stagecoaches, coach operations, in contrast to the National Express Group, sort of National Express operation. Now, in regards to this, it has been also announced this morning around the same time, about 10 minutes after at 10 past 10, that Stagecoach are to sell their Scottish CityLink stake, that is 35% ownership in the Scottish CityLink operation, as well as its retail and customer service activities of Megabus UK and Falcon Coaches. Megabus UK being the um, sort of brainchild in the late 1980s, early 1990s of Stagecoach Group and Mr Scouter setting that up um, as one of the flagship operations that Stagecoach had and mainly rising up through the use of ex Hong Kong and Dennis Dragons and Leyland Olympian tracks or double deckers providing incredibly cheap £1 fares into and out of London in competition at the time with National Express. The Falcon operation um, primarily consists of the Falcon Express coach service that runs between Bristol and Plymouth um, across the West Country and into sort of Devon and Cornwall region. So it must be um, important to say that both of these operations only include the retail and customer service operations. Um, so it suggests that the potential of the vehicles and things may go and may stay with Stagecoach for use on a new National Express merged kind of operation. So the 35% interest in Scottish CityLink coaches, with it being a joint venture between Stagecoach and CDG, um, basically means that Stagecoaches um, sort of share in Scottish um, coach operations um, like the 900, for example, between Edinburgh and Glasgow um, will now cease to exist. 
So it will become two separate operations within Scotland with Stagecoach Sturman and their Stagecoach Express and Coach services around the Scottish Highlands and things. But the main CityLink kind of operation um, will see Stagecoach not run as many services on that. These operations, the Megabus UK, Falcon, Scottish, CityLink, are all going to Comfort, Delgro, Corporation Limited, um, and they will all sort of merge into them. So the operation, so the operator that currently run um, part of um, Scottish Siddling run the overwhelming share, will now take it over fully. This um, entire disposal operation um, is going to um, gain the company £8.75 million. Expected to um, be fully completed by the 20th of February 2022. Again, the same time that is expected um, for the entire sort of merger. It would be expected that all of these merger concepts are going to align around that key date that is now the 20th of February 2022. So it's all quite interesting, um, something that we didn't quite expect, I didn't quite expect to record in this video, um, but it must be said that this uh, merger um, and the selling off of the coach operations um, as a direct effect of the merger um, can be suggested to be linked to the Fair Trade Commission um, obviously linking back to um, previous big high profile cases where the Fair Trade Commission have got involved in, for example, in Preston, um, where Stagecoach initially took over Preston bus um, from the council and then were told to sell it on to Rotala due to the fact that it, they were running too much of the overall operation there. It can be suggested that the reason for this sale of these coach um, retail brands um, is due to a very, very similar re reason in order to not overwhelmingly run the operation. So there'll be a few of you asking um, as well, generally now we've, we've covered the basic facts, why this merger is taking place in the first place. What are the reasons behind Stagecoach Bush UK and National Express Group wanting to merge at this moment in time? Now, we can pin this down to a few reasons, looking at the bigger picture and around the basic concept of the pandemic. And it can um, be generally assumed um, that through the pandemic, both, bus both operations have um, struggled, especially over the coach operations. National Express Group being primarily known um, for Natex coaches and Stagecoach being very well known for Megabus, both struggled at the start of the 2020 lockdown um, when both coach operators had to pretty much cancel um, all of their sort of runs and things and made quite a big loss. Stagecoach making a huge, huge financial loss at the end of 2020. So with both um, sort of operators struggling to regain the coach operation there, the rise of Flixbus as well in the UK industry, an attempted rise in 2020 that they originally sort of called off, and they then returned at the start of 2021 with these extraordinarily cheap fares, frequent services running along corridors at Megabus and Natex had sort of run in harmony along until recently, and splitting the customers, the already reduced number of customers, um, even more into more split proportions has made Megabus and Natex struggle a little bit more, and um, with Flixbus rising at a phenomenal rate. Alongside this, other little factors have also not helped. Obviously, the bus industry um, is predicted to take another 18 to 24 months to regain its previous passenger numbers um, pre-pandemic. Um, the reducing of funding um, from sort of organisations as well and local councils hasn't helped. As well as um, current things such as the driver um, driver strikes going on um, in the UK with Stagecoach. Stagecoach Yorkshire, as we currently speak, are on a seven-day strike within the um, South Yorkshire region um, of the operation, as well as Stagecoach up and down the country in other parts, as well as a shortage of staff too. So National Express themselves having to hire in quite a lot of different private operators and Megabus doing the same. Um, to cover parts of it, parts of its main core operation at the moment, due to a significant driver shortage, the industry itself is really struggling at the moment, um, and that can be cited as another reason for this takeover. The takeover itself, and uh, moving on to our final point here, will hopefully allow both operations to become stronger, and um, with the company worth being um, 1.9 billion 
um, as a whole once the merger takes place. With shares for both operators going up this morning um, after the merger was announced. So it is a good thing um, for both companies. So it will be interesting to see um, what happens. It will be interesting to see the brands that are kept, um, the liveries that are launched, and how they go forwards in merging this operation and that will be set to become one of the, if not the biggest UK bus and coach operator um, once the takeover has taken place. Again, the main facts is it is the takeover is costing £370 million, um, approximately. Um, that's the figure that's been quoted. And the company, once all taken over, will be worth £1.9 billion um, with Stagecoach selling off the Megabus and Falcon Retail and their 35% share in the Scottish CityLink um, operation to comfort um, Delgado operations, who already run um, the Scottish CityLink, the other share of the company. So I hope this all um, sums up a few things for you all. I um, hope this um, puts a bit of clarity into things and um, that may be a little bit confusing. You may have all gone, oh, wow, what's going on? Um, I will be linking in some um, main articles that I've quoted um, from this video in the description below if you don't want to do any further reading. But for now, it is a very exciting change. Um, I do hope you've enjoyed this video. For more bulletins and interesting um, sort of bus videos like this, do be sure to um, subscribe to the Anmore Central YouTube channel. And I will see you all in the next video I make. Goodbye for now. Bye.